Hi, I'm Asha Bonney and I'm one of the respiratory and sleep physicians. And hi, I'm Doug Johnson. I'm uh, the head of general medicine and one of the ID physicians at Royal Melbourne. Uh, and so we're here at Jeff Shed or the Melbourne Convention Centre for the Royal Melbourne-led uh, vaccination clinic. The AstraZeneca vaccine, we know if you extend that interval of dosing from uh, to 12 weeks, so your first dose and then 12 weeks later your second dose, it's about 81% protective against symptomatic COVID, which is fantastic. But then the real world data is even more impressive. So in Scotland, they, they looked at five and a half million or 5.4 million people in the Scottish population. The AstraZeneca vaccine reduced hospitalisation by 94% and the Pfizer vaccine reduced hospitalisation by about 85%. So both are really effective at, at what we really want to know, which is reducing hospitalisation, severe disease and, and death. Um, so a number of the governmental agencies in Europe and Australia have come out and said that there is no definite link between an increased risk of thromboembolic disease and the AstraZeneca vaccine. There have been some studies, and we were just discussing it um, earlier today, that have suggested that maybe there's some um, cases of increased cavernous sinus venous thrombosis. Um, again, not definitively linked. Absolutely. So um, there was an initial signal out of Germany and then uh, so the European Medicine Association or agency and the European regulatory body looked at 20 million doses of the vaccine and there's no increased risk in DVTs and PEs and in fact it's lower than the general population. But there was just this very small signal about a clot in the vein in the brain and at the moment we don't know if it's an association or whether it's actually related to the vaccine. But it's something for us to be aware of but it's exceedingly rare. It's in the order of sort of 10 in tens of millions of doses. Uh, so it's something for us to know about, uh, certainly to tell patients about, but we still think that the benefit of the vaccine far outweighs uh, any risk. Uh, in the Australian data so far, there's been 15,000 people that have responded to having received the AstraZeneca vaccine who've responded post that to, to talk about their experiences. There's been no cases of thrombosis in Australia. Um, it's something that I would encourage you to discuss with your um, doctor or GP before the vaccine if you have any specific concerns, um, as it's a very low incidence. And overall, our recommendation is that the vaccine benefits would outweigh those risks.